Good morning, YouTube. How's everybody doing this morning? Glad you're back with us today. As you can see, we got a crappie here, a little white crappie. We're doing a little long line trolling. Oh, hold on, got one on. We're gonna get this fish. We'll be right back with you. So as I was saying, doing a little long line trolling this morning. This is one of my favorite winter techniques. Um, I'll show you guys real quick what we're using. Using a double rig, got two loop knots tied, about 12 to 18 inches apart. Uh, on this rod, we've got two curly tails. So we got a pink and blue with a chartreuse tail, and we got a black and blue with a chartreuse tail. What we're doing, <coughs> Again, two 16th ounce heads. Pretty simplistic method of fishing right here. This is actually how I cut my teeth. Crappie fishing. Good cast out the side of the boat. In the rod holder. Set it, forget it, right? So, we're gonna pull we're gonna pull these double rigs around, double jig rigs. We're gonna pull them around anywhere from 0.8 to 1.1 mile an hour. Uh, we're on Teleco Lake today, so we're just gonna kind of follow the creek channel, okay? Um, these fish move in and out of these creeks using that creek channel. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna kind of follow that creek channel in and out of this creek, see if we can't pick up some fish. We've been... Uh, We've been out here about an hour, I guess, and uh, we've picked up 10 or 12 fish in an hour. So, you know, we're uh, we're doing okay. We're not setting the world on fire, but uh, we're hoping to find them right here in one of these little bins in this creek channel soon. So, uh, stick along with us and see what we catch. Little guy. That's a decent eater fish. He'll eat. So let's take a second, guys, and let's talk about rods. Um, <clears throat> I don't have a preferred rod, per se, for long line trolling. I have preferred links, okay? So what we've got today, we've got a 12-foot, a 10-foot, and a 6-foot. I'm running 12, 10, 6, three rods on either side of the boat. I could run, I could run four on either side, but for me... That's just too much to keep up with when I'm by myself, so I run three rods out of either side. Um, 
I prefer the links because it separates the jigs and you don't have as many tangles. Some people go one foot increments. Some people try to go 12, 11, 10, 9, so on and so forth. I try to keep it 12, 10, 6. That keeps my bait separated. I can turn a little easier. Um, turning, you have to make wide turns, okay? If you don't make those wide turns, your baits are going to cross each other and they're going to uh, they're gonna get tangled up. So keep that in mind when you're long line trolling. Water temps today are right at 50 degrees at 49 and a half, 50 degrees. Fish are suspended and grouped up anywhere from 7 feet to 12 feet. <clears throat> Sets up really good for 2 16th ounce. 2 16th ounce jigs tied in parallel. You're talking anywhere running 0.8 to a mile an hour, 1.1. You're going to get down anywhere from 7 to 9 feet deep. So it works out really, really good when the fish are in that depth. Great way to fish. I just, I just love trolling. I mean, don't get me wrong. I don't mind standing up on that front deck and, and uh, picking them off a of live scope. Live scope has changed crappie fishing. But these are the roots of crappie fishing. This is how I cut my teeth crappie fishing. I love it. Sometimes it's nice just to come out and stand back here and watch these rods and not have to watch a screen or cast or anything else. All I gotta do is watch these rods jump. I enjoy it. And it's still a great way to catch fish. I mean, you can catch a lot of fish doing this. Speaking of which, that's a good fish right here. Stay on there, baby, stay on there. So what I try to do is I try to keep my rod outside the other line so I don't get tangled up. Not as big as I thought he was. Where are all the big fish at today? I'm gonna keep that one. So yeah, like I was saying, you can catch a lot of fish fishing this way, and I love it. Mm -hmm. He popped it. Whoa, that one got it. There we go. That might be a better fish. Come on. I promised my youngest son that we'd eat fish tonight. So I'm under the gun. I hold that rod up in the air is because that fish you want that fish to come to the surface then you can just skim him across the surface unless it's a good fish like this one that's a good fish right here you don't want to horse them because they do have that thin mouth Oh yeah, that's a good fish right there. That's 
what we're looking for. Nice fish. Nice white crappie. It's cold. It's going to be good eating right there. Nice fish. I don't know if you can see it or not, but I, I keep reaching down, hitting my my depth finder. That's another great advantage to trolling. You can watch your depth finders, and a lot of times you'll see brush, stake beds. I mean, you, I've marked so much structure for trolling. So not only am I fishing, but I'm also watching to see if I find structure. This is a better fish. Hard to tell on these long rods. I don't use these long rods that much anymore. That is a good one. He's an eater. Delco Lake gets some pressure though. Uh, there's a lot of fish in this lake. A lot, a lot of fish. A lot of eater fish. Not a whole lot of trophy fish. But there's a lot of people that fish this lake because they can come catch fish. They can catch, catch eaters, you know, catch fish to take home. And to me, I prefer a 10 and a half to 11 inch fish, uh, 10 and a quarter to an 11 inch fish. If I'm going to eat fish, I like them crispy. So, you know, fish that size crisps up real nice and that's what I prefer so this lake's got a bunch of them in it there we go there's one stay on there baby feels like a decent fish oh yeah That's a decent fish. <sighs> nice fish. Nice crappie. little guy all right guys well that's gonna do it for this week's show we're getting ready to head in um, I'm gonna thank you guys for watching don't forget in the winter those fish 
they'll they'll school up they'll move out into open water they'll suspend long line trolling is a great way uh, if you don't have a whole lot of electronics on your boat long line trolling is a great way to go locate fish find fish cover water um, really really good time that's one of my favorite ways to fish i cut my teeth crappie fishing long line trolling so i hope you enjoyed the show Hope you watch the show next week. We'll have another episode out. Uh, thank you again for everything y'all have done for the channel. We appreciate it. You guys have a good day. God bless.